Yeah, I'd wake up in the morning, um, withdrawing from the drugs, needing to get drugs, but had no money to get it. So I, I'd, I'd do whatever it took really to get money. I'd, I'd rob from shops, I'd beg on the streets, um, manipulate as many people as I could to try and get what I needed. Michael spent years on the streets of Birmingham battling drug addiction, but has now been in recovery for nine months. As England and Wales record its highest number of drug-related deaths since records began in the early 90s, he says he's so nearly featured in these latest figures. A very good friend of mine, um, Anthony, he, um, we both got given three months left to live uh, at the same time, actually. Um, and while I was in treatment, I got a phone call telling me that he'd, he'd, he'd passed away. Um, it was hard hitting. Um, this, this, this was a lad that I, you know, we, we, we slept on the streets together. It, it, yeah, could, could have quite easily have been me. We now know last year more than 4,500 deaths related to drug poisoning were registered in England and Wales. It's been steadily increasing since records began and is up 24% compared to 2015. Last year there were more than twice as many men who died of drug poisoning than women. And around half of all drug poisoning deaths involved an opiate like heroin or morphine. Just last month, an independent review said cuts had left recovery services and treatment on their knees. The report's author urged England to invest an extra £500 million over five years. You won't succeed with everyone, but you don't succeed with everyone with cancer or diabetes or rheumatoid arthritis, but you should do it properly. Michael agrees and says the Birmingham rehab charity Livingston House has saved his life. A year ago, like I say, I, I was on them streets and I was thinking I was going to die. An addict. Didn't know there was a way out. And to, to be sat here now, nine months clean, things are coming back into my life. It, it is, it's amazing. The government claims it's made the largest investment into the treatment system for 15 years. But deaths from drugs keep on rising and each of them is preventable. Julian Drucker, Five News, Birmingham.